everybody and welcome to week three of the Golden Goblet. We're going to be doing Hitman 2 featured contracts. We racked our brains coming up with what the heck we wanted to play. Oh, we don't want to play Gungeon because it might be too long. Also, who wins? It's hard to tell. We don't want to play Tetris 99 because I would just win easily and everyone would stop being friends with me. We don't want to play Isaac because we've been there and done that, etc., etc. Great idea popped into my head. What about Hitman 2 featured contracts? By the way, there's no sound. Just give me a second. I got to make sure I got the right contract for today. Today's contract is called Love and Death Sapienza. It should be on page one here. Oh, don't take control. Um... There it is. Love and death. So big ups to, uh, I mean, Malph has played some Hitman before, but let's just give particular big ups to Dan, who is biting the bullet and buying Hitman 2 in order to play this. On the other hand, big ups to Dan for experiencing uh, 2018's greatest game. Maybe it's like a year and a half later, but still, I think that this is a, a good choice for Golden Goblet because of the fact that even if you don't know what you're doing, you can have a fun time. And what's the, the scoring system? Highest score wins on a daily basis. Um, let's look at the briefing here. Good day, 47. Hmm, this is interesting. It seems with just a little outside interference. This contract will pretty much complete itself. No guns, no explosions, and no violence. Be patient, 47. Observe, and you shall be rewarded. Oh, and try to blend in, will you? Or you'll be the next big story on the radio. So I'm just gonna let you know, by the way. I, um pick the contracts out of the featured contracts section. I really tried to ignore uh, contracts that were like, hey, if you press right trigger, you'll win. But I think that even Malf and Dan, if they read this, they're probably not going to recognize what I think I'm recognizing right now, which is like maybe they'll kill each other if you just watch long enough. Um, anyway, we're supposed to kill you with poison while wearing the suit, and then we're supposed to kill uh, you with any method while being bohemian. Do not pacify or subdue anyone in any way, uh, if possible. But this this is a non, like, fatal mistake if you make a mistake. And all shots must hit an NPC. So I think that we should smuggle in poison. If you'll allow me here. Um, and does it just say poison? It says consume poison, right? I don't know if I have the, the kind of... Uh, I don't know if I have the kind of poison required. Consumed poison. I, at least I don't know if I have the kind of poison uh, from the start. You might have to find it in the level, which I probably won't look for, but... That's the other reason that I think that this is a great choice for... Um, for uh, Golden Goblet is because I'm not actually that good at Hitman. <laughs> I've played a lot of it, but uh, I haven't actually. Uh, I'm not actually very good. Is my personal opinion. I'll tell you what. Why don't we just uh, we'll just take a modern lethal syringe. What's the difference between Mark? Oh, it's just got a different look. Sure, we'll take that. Concealed weapon. We'll start. Uh, it said you should wear the suit. I don't know. The Italian suit might count. And we'll start in the promenade. Don't have any other choice. Fiber wire and coin. Uh, sure, let's let's get it going here. And I don't remember if I'm supposed to be in the bottom right or, you know, wherever. By the way, you might be like, are you going to use instinct? If anybody wants to use instinct, doesn't bother me. Uh, it's all about having fun. Also, I think we should... I mean, we haven't talked about this because this came together pretty last minute. But I think we should build in, like, a restart. Like, if you... Lose without accomplishing a single objective. Kind of the same rules as the elusive target. You can restart with, like, no penalty. Okay, so am I, I'm cool down here in the bottom right. So I've forgotten pretty much everything. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to move. And we're going to try to get to locations where I know what we're doing. Okay, so that's instinct. Um, because I want to remember very quickly what's, what's take out gun, <laughs> so I don't do it accidentally. And then what's crouch? Okay, there's crouch. 
This this is next level strats right here. Take out gun. Up. Alright. Change items. Left and right. And then what's run? I feel like I should know this. Left bumper? Left bumper is sprint. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We can figure this out. Alright. So your score in Hitman, I'm not 100% sure what it's determined by. Uh, definitely not being seen doing illegal things is a big one. I'm also, of course, assuming if we accomplish uh, some of our objectives or did some of those bonus objectives, that'll work as well. Am I allowed to go into this location? Will you be upset with me if I go into this location? Well, I don't have a key. I don't have a key to get into that door. Could follow this man in, but uh, that doesn't seem like it's going to work out all that well. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's been a while, dude. It has been... It has been some time. So normally, I just walked straight up there. Hello. Welcome to my humble salami shop. May I enter? Nope. So there is a, uh, there's another way in there. Do I remember what it is? No. And that's why it's gonna be fun. Is this whole area, like, locked off? This is, I think this is, like, a different Sapienza. Am I allowed in here? I mean, it's, it's public property. This is the taxpayer's road. Um... I think this is like a, a, a swapped version of Sapienza. Hold on, where's where's my map at here? So one target is in the ice cream shop, one target is closer to the beach. So we don't even really need to go to the compound. Alright, alright. I don't know, man. Let's let's give it a try, shall we? <laughs> That's the spirit of this competition is uh is improvisation, okay? So here's our ice cream shop. But I believe that this uh, gentleman that we're looking for is on the next floor. Could you provide me Sorry, with... Sorry, sir. This area is restricted at the moment. So I could have told you that, obviously. Based on the very strange security light next to you. Um, however... One thing you might not be aware of, sir. thought there was a vault, but maybe not. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing you might not be aware of, sir, is... Uh, I have extraordinary agility. Try it. You won't. You're not seeing anything, dude. He wouldn't do it anyway. If I saw a dude doing some American Ninja Warrior stuff, I wouldn't say anything either. I don't want him to, you know, parkour over to me and kick me in the teeth or something. So I believe this is usually where the Bohemian lives. By the way, I'm not going to deny it. I have a, an advantage in this uh, golden goblet. Because I've actually played the game before. So is Mouth, but n like not very much. Dan has not played it at all, to the best of my knowledge. And yeah, I'm using instinct, okay? Get over it. I think the Bohemian... Yeah, he's one level up. Can't unlock that door, so what the heck am I doing in here? I don't know, man. Looting a fire extinguisher, apparently? I don't think we can put that in our pocket, though, so... <laughs> I, I think there's no reason for us to... To have it. Can, can we just swap? No. Oh, wait. We can just swap. No, we can't just swap. Turn on transistor radio. I'm trying to think about how we get one floor up. Is is the real heat right now. I'm pretty concerned. If we climb through that window, something's going to go wrong. Um, this door is not even unlocked right now. So I think if possible, we want to create a distraction here.
I hope it's this guy that's been activated. If not... <laughs> if not, things might get a little spicy for all I know. <clears throat> I don't really want to climb out of the window, if possible. Because I think that it might lead to my discovery. Blend in as bodyguard? I'm afraid that will not be possible. I hate to do this. Okay, let's butch up. We gotta get out. On it. Sir, I mean, I'm just... If anything, I'm annoyed by the fact that he only... I, I did, uh, obviously, screw up one of my objectives. But, like, we waited so long for him to get uh, aggroed. And it didn't do anything. It's only when we came close to the door that he was like, I gotcha. So, this, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say this is going well or particularly poorly right now, but it is what it is. We'll hide these. Hey man, you don't restart when you make a mistake like that again. My, my version of Hitman 2 is about living with your mistakes. I don't want to change outfits, though, because we're supposed to... I think you just get more points if you have this suit on. Okay. Don't give me this shit right now. Just endless uh, guards coming here, huh? No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We don't go in. So this is not going to be a great start. I'm sorry, sir. It didn't have to come to this. Who would have thought one little transistor radio would cause this much trouble? Yep, there you go, you got me. Okay, now that we've killed every bodyguard on the level... <laughs> Look, I'm a little rusty, okay? Just drag them all in here. There should be, like, very little resistance to part one now. What do you mean, investigating? Turn off the radio, dude! Everybody wants to know the score in the Barcelona game. That's not Italian, dummy. That's, uh, Catalan... Team. No, no, I will not help you. Instead, I will kick you in the head and okay. Make sure you make sure you knock him. So I think this is going pretty poorly so far. Um, what's the next step? Very simple. Trigger the security camera. Because I didn't want to shoot a security camera. Because that's one of our optional objectives. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh, I see you. Hey, here's let, let's focus on the positives, okay? Still alive. Still got one bonus objective functioning here. Can we vault over this? Compromise. Yo, we, we went down a level of aggression. That's comical. So it turns out we weren't even really in the right building. So this whole part of the experience was not necessary. <laughs> but maybe... I think we can cross over here, maybe? I'll tell you as well, by the way. 1,000%. I will watch everybody. Oh, dude, we can erase the security footage. Let's go. I didn't even know this was here. One thousand percent. I will watch everybody else's performances as well. I gotta know. I gotta know what they're getting up to. Okay, so we need to go up one more floor. Uh, I think maybe. 
We can just go up the staircase? Yeah, okay. So here's the deal. First off, he doesn't lock his door. Whoops! <laughs> I don't think I... I don't know where poison is. I'll just level with you. I have to... I have to be honest with you. You gotta do it the classic way. There's one. I don't know how many points we're gonna get for that, but it is what it is. Unnoticed kill. I don't know if there's a place to hide him in here, by the way. I don't know if we need a place to hide him. I mean, it's his own home. Yeah, he told me he was here. But now... He's going to excuse me. They told me he was here? Where is he? I'm sure that if you want to actually poison him, the way that you do it is by... Yeah, putting something into his... Into his you-know-what. Well, not his you-know-what. <laughs> putting something into his hookah. Alright, uh, please put your fiber wire away. So we only have to kill... Uh, one more individual here, and he's located closer to the beach. Is there an optional objective for this? Optional wear disguise. Okay, well... Forgive me my trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Hit him with one of these. This is this is a classic. I think this guy is. Uh, he's got some issues. Didn't I knock all of you out? Maybe there's like a pipe that I can just climb down over here instead. I don't really want to cause more trouble than is necessary. But I don't think we can just vault down there. And I don't- is there a window we could like- Oh, we can climb in through this window. And then out through that window maybe? But please bear in mind, this is an area of hostility. And you really don't want to find yourself uh, getting too discovered here. <laughs> like, yeah. These guys are like, what the heck is this guy doing? I don't think there's any reason to go to the side. I don't think we can drop down here. I apologize, by the way. I think it's going okay. Like, we haven't gotten into any actual gunfights. It's been a touch messy, of course. If, if we can just slide down to the bottom, I'll live with that. This is one where you probably want to think about it before you go in, but... Oh, this room! Okay. No, 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 this is okay. Believe it or not. As long as nobody ever uses this bathroom ever again. We got nothing to worry about. Okay. So you just move past the window. I would just like to get a score of not zero. And I think we're we're on pace for that. I don't know. The, the thing I'll say for... Um, for Malf and Dan. It's very easy to zero a score in, uh, in Hitman. Basically, if you get into a gunfight, you got a pretty good chance of your score being zero. Because every non-target you kill is like minus 5,000 or something. Now, we didn't kill anybody. We did punch uh, a few in the head. Problemi? Oh, hey, wait a minute. I'm sorry, sir. I believe that I have... Uh, I believe I've knocked you unconscious. Wasn't my intention. To be honest with you, I don't even know who you are. By the way, I'm recognizing now. Hold on, if you'll allow me to go in a borderless window. I think I should be up there so you can see what piece of equipment I have. Oh, look at that. Now you can see what I'm holding in my hands. Alright, so there is our... Uh, our target. Keep in mind, once it's it's a lot like Tarkov. Once you get some kills, uh, you gotta exfil. Gotcha. 
goddamn hippies all over. Teach I'm sorry. <laughs> He's so rude, dude. Um, how are we gonna eliminate this guy? Well, the easy way, to be honest, would be to uh, distract the bodyguard. And then even just like, I don't know, to be honest, if you popped him with this like silenced pistol, you'd probably be okay. I don't know if you want to run up to him and, and hit him with the, <laughs> hit him with the syringe real quick. It seems a little much. I do believe you can also like get up into the church tower and maybe we'll just have a, a good angle to... I don't know, really, it, like, it's inelegant, right, to, to just take a shot, but it also is what it is, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do. So maybe we can get up into the church tower, and this, I mean, Hitman, if, if you haven't watched me play Hitman, first off, you're really missing out. But secondarily, uh, it's really a game of, like, map awareness. If you know... Places you can go on the map to, uh, you know, see different angles. It That really, really helps you accomplish uh, what you're trying to do. So here, we could do any number of things, to be honest. We could, uh, we could pop them in the dome from the top of the tower. Uh, if we had an explosive, we could throw it down there. I don't know. Can we throw the syringe? I don't know if we have the range to reach him here, to be honest with you. But... We have at least made it up. That's why, like, maybe you could have taken a sniper rifle instead. Well, we certainly do not have the range. You might be able to do this. It's a bit of a... <laughs> It's a bit of a stretch, though. Like, if I, if I could just get onto the church roof instead? But I can't, like... There's no place to drop here. I still think we might be able to make this happen. I mean, I don't think this is... I don't think we're in danger right now. Let's just leave it at that. But, like, I think that even without being in danger right now, we have an okay bead on what we can do to make this... Uh, to make this work for ourselves. I'd really- the thing you don't want to do is get into a spot where you gotta hit the guy five times with the pistol in order to ice him, you know? So I think this is the level we want to be on. Which is scary. Can we even be on- no, we can't even be on this level. Okay, well, we'll just go all the way down then. Um, so, hopefully... We can- is this trespassing? I'm gonna break in. It's an illegal act. But we've made it. Now there is an individual in here. Isn't that this that's the staircase, okay. But I don't want that staircase. <laughs> Skirt. He didn't notice. And that's just the church. So if we walk out. No, no, no. Didn't see anything. Didn't see anything. That's the... Must have been the wind. See, that? there was no reason to do that. We could have just walked in through the front of the church. Back later. Later. But I want to get, like, up there. It's this guy. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, here's what you do. Get that coin out. Yeet. Probably was not necessary. Please tell me this is not the same tower. <laughs> Yo. Sir? What the heck are you doing? Very strange man. 
So I'm 99% sure this is the same tower. I mean, it, it is the same tower. Is there a wrench? No wrench? Yep. Um... You really, really do not want to get into a gunfight. That's where good ideas go to die. He's, I don't know, he's, he might not even be too far away, but it's, it's just slightly too spiced. I forgot I don't even have the poison. I don't know, it might be makeable, but it's, it's a little too hot, I think. Ay, 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 okay, okay. That's the thing is, what has hurt me in the past in this game, without a doubt, is impatience. It's much better to come up with a smart uh, solution than to just, you know, throw something at the wall and then deal with the consequences. Now, whether or not I will actually Weird. do that remains to be seen. You didn't, honestly, brother, you didn't see anything. Yeah. It must have been the wind. Don't make me do it, dude. I don't have any cans of tomato soup to, to throw at you. Alright, you know what? It's your lucky day, dude. Okay. Okay. So we've made it. <laughs> we need to come up with a better idea, though. I mean, at the end of the day... If push comes to shove, I've never been here before, I think. Crime noticed. No, that you didn't see anything. You that was honestly not a break and enter. It was instead a break and party. It was a break and party. So, what do we do? Um, well, don't let it get you down. Walk around in a loop for precisely zero reason. See how these guys are reacting to the overall situation. <laughs> That's, that's gonna... Chunky's gobbling up our points. They're gonna get over it. Yeah, okay, you've never seen a crime before? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, everything's... Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is not fine. Everything is very bad. Everything's fine. Look at that. I really want the bonus points from being in this costume, dude. <laughs> what do we got in our inventory? Just guns. That's it. Okay. So we're compromised. That's bad. I'm hoping, like, perhaps in here. Is this the gardener's shed? Uh, that's a negative. <laughs> yeah, this is what we're looking for. Can you put that away? No. Is it legal to hold this? Yeah, okay. All right, so what do you do? Well, you could always just throw the shovel at the man's head. I'm not necessarily suggesting this is particularly advisable. Disguise is the gardener. Would probably give us a better chance, but it would also give us less points. Hello, boys. Um, I don't really think we want to be down here, to be honest. 
Like, this is where we broke in and got into a lot of trouble. Coins, dude! Let's go. The most valuable of all tools. The thing with the shovel. Whoa. Don't necessarily want to be in here. The thing with the shovel is it is lethal throw ability. No, 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 no. By the way, I recognize right now. Oh, he's he's running. I recognize right now. You're like, what are you doing? Just shoot him. Look, this is a game of, of planning. Supposedly. You run. <laughs> All right, so I have a plan. Um, shoot the target and run for your life. Don't turn this way. Oh, dude, come on! I just need to get out of here. He's so excited. He's like, I got the coin. He did get the coin. Okay. So, hello. It's me again. Guy who's been very suspiciously running around for quite some time. Um, pick up a brick? Sure, dude. So here, here's my plan. It's very simple. You think this will work? It will work. And there's our escape. Just sprint. Run. You don't see anything. You don't see anything. Okay, so it turns out I spent a lot of time trying to do something that, to be honest with you, we didn't need to spend all that prep time. Yeah, peace, bro. And, and to you as well. If you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. A successful mission with a couple idiosyncrasies. Let's see where we rank today. D I would say that's about an average performance for me, so I'm definitely not upset. Um, seems about right. We got a 21,000 point score. I dare not look at the leaderboards to see where we ranked. Just look at that, 21,144 with a one star- Oh, you can already see leaderboards, friends. A oh, one out of one, though! That just means I'm the first person. Hey, thanks for watching, hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Check out, uh, Malfus Necessarium, and of course, Dan Giesling. I'll link their channels in the video description below. See how they did today. For now, thanks for watching, thanks for your support on Golden Goblet, and we'll see you next time. See ya!